Um, I always liked science. Um, I took, I think it was 11 or 12 science classes in the course of high school. Uh, so I always knew, I was like that little geeky girl that loved uh, biology and chemistry. Um, and it was just really different, and you know, to come to school and find people that actually felt the same way. In the beginning, I actually went to a college fair that I was reluctant to go to at first. My dad dragged me one day after practice and was like, hey, you really need to go go to this college fair. Um, it would be beneficial. I was like, no, dad, I know I want to go to Georgia Tech. Um, that's where I like. That's where I feel like I have to go. And I am very grateful that I went because I found out about Ole Miss at that college fair. And um, I met with the uh, woman at the table um, and she was talking to me about how I could do this program called the Academic Common Market and um, be able to go to school here with in-state tuition. Um, and so I was so excited because the geological engineering program sounded so interesting. I was, I'm, I've always been interested in geology and um, atmospheric sciences, everything like that. Um, and I'd be able to do that here. And um, so I literally, I got home, I started my application to the school immediately that night when I got home. Um, and I haven't regretted it since. After I filled out my Ole Miss application, I was like, this is where, this is where I have to go. I was like, forget Georgia Tech. Like, this is, this is the place where I want to be, um, where I feel like I need to be. Uh, when I got my acceptance letter, I was one of those really weird girls that I literally checked it every single day after <laughs> after I applied, even though it said two weeks. And um, I eventually checked it. It was I think it was like a week and a half, two weeks later. Um, I checked the online website where you can check your status, and it said I was accepted. And then about a few days later, I got my acceptance letter, and it was it was um, it was nice to know that I was accepted into college and was. I could start planning, you know, what I was gonna do. Um, so I think after I got my acceptance letter, I was I was really happy to know that I had like a secure spot in the university in the geological engineering program. I don't think geological engineering has one set definition. Um, you can do so much with the field. It's such a broad um, topic that you can go. You can just be a geologist. You can just be a hydrologist. You can just be a petrologist. You know, you can do so much with the field, and I think that's why I love it so much. Because, you know, I'm always changing my mind about things that I want to do, and with this field, like, there's not one thing that I I have thought, oh, I never want to try that. You know, it might be really hard, like something like crystallography, but it's still so interesting. And once you understand how to do it, you love it. Like, there's there's no turning back. It's just such an interesting, such a fulfilling field to be in. Any advice I would give to incoming geological engineering students is ask as many questions as you can. And it sounds cliche, but there really isn't such a thing as a stupid question. Ask your professors, ask your friends, ask anybody um, for help if you need it. It's so important. And since this is such a competitive major, you definitely need to understand your material. You don't need to just memorize it. You need to study it. You need to understand it and asking questions will help that. I definitely think, um, I know I ask a ton of questions in class and if I don't understand something, I try to because I absolutely love this major and I uh, wanna learn everything I can about it. Right now, I have plans. I wanna do atmospheric field testing and basically what atmospheric field testing is, is you go and you survey plots of land, you can get contracted by the government or different independent building firms. Um, and you go survey plots of land to see what you can build there, how you can build it, what would be the best materials for this particular plot of land, um, and you get paid to do it. And um, right now that's what I'm really interested in, but honestly, I couldn't tell you what I'm gonna do when I'm gonna graduate because I, I still don't know, and I'm okay not knowing. I, I'm okay with going day by day and learning everything I possibly can in this field and enjoying it and I think that's that's something you need to hold on to like regardless of if you're a freshman or a sophomore like you really truly don't need to be worried about where you're gonna go from day one I mean you've only touched the surface when you get into college and I think it's really important to keep your mind open with all the options that you have available